Hey there everybody, it's Val, and welcome back to Tolkien Craft 2, The Labors of Valentine. Uh, for today's tour, I actually have a recap of some things that I did back uh, around January 1st. I didn't get a chance to talk about them in an end-of-the-day tour, and then we had the time when the server wasn't available. And uh, so I'm trying to remember exactly what it is I did. I have my notes, but they weren't that specific. They were intended to be more of a reminder not a, these are all the things you need to talk about in detail. Right, so I set up my Thumbcraft altar. Uh, we haven't actually set up the headroom yet because I was working on getting more heads for that. And I think I'm actually going to do a dual headroom setup. I'm going to have something above. And, whoops, I didn't mean to go down all there. That way. Back up. And I'm also going to do it a, a smaller headroom underneath. Um, the reason I decided to do that is if I if I do it like that, I should be able to do a small one here, small one above, and it won't look terrible. You see that? You see that there? That means that the F7 key is somewhat unreliable doesn't always show you exactly where things can spawn. Er, er. <laughs> uh, so I have to fix I have to fix that later. Anyway, sorry, got sidetracked. Um, yeah, so because we have a very tall ceiling in here, so I should be able to put something in and if I make it not too tall and I can actually maybe color it, if I don't want it to be seen I can color it black or maybe I will put it above after all. Anyway, I, I haven't quite decided yet except but I have decided to have two of them, one below and one above, instead of one big huge one either above or below, which was my original intention. Um, but I've revised my plans for that. Right, so what else? Um, yes, uh, Patsuru actually left me a present. It was a really cool present. And, well, the castle's a little crowded right now, but... Uh, all the refugees from the village are in here, so we'll have to kind of work around. Excuse, excuse me, sorry, coming through. Anyway, you can see that there is two uh, charms here. I actually put, I have it on my my main uh, en enhanced charm. So we'll go. I'm going to take you there and show you. Basically, I spent most of New Year's Eve, or was it New Year's Day? No, had, couldn't be New Year's Day, because that's when I saw it. Anyway. Or did I... No, I, uh, I see I'm getting all confused because it's been so long. I was looking for an ice biome um, on New Year's Day. And when I was able to log in briefly before the server started having its issues, um, I was able to check out and see what Patsuru had left. And... I, well, I'll show you what he left. He left me something awesome. And uh, we might make it day to go there, just because it's going to be much cooler if we go there in the day. Even though night is almost over. Hmm. Yeah. Tell you what, we will go there. I'm just going to show you what else I've, I've been doing here today, actually. Um, this is going to be where the village is going to be relocated. So it's got, I made a same size, basically, pit <laughs> at the same level as where the village came from. It doesn't have to be at the same level as where I got the village, but it will work better, I think, in terms of blending into the landscape than if I tried to put it on top. But I think this is going to look pretty good. Uh, the red pieces of, uh, cherry wood dotted around form the basic outline of the wall that I'm going to make. So you can see it coming around like this. So I'm going to give them an orchard area here. They might have sort of a garden here because there's an actual uh, fountain that is from some ancient uh, building or something that's completely disappeared except for the fountain. And over here we have this lonely old well. So maybe there was once a farm or something here that 
totally burnt down and got destroyed because there is the orchard here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be part of the village as well. So we'll see how how it's going to work to blend it in. But I am looking forward to it. So yeah, I think I'm probably going to be doing that on Monday, but I will decide that uh, probably Friday or Saturday and we'll post a notice in the FTB thread uh, because just like the event uh, this afternoon where we uh, collected the village, I will need help setting up the pylons because with help it took an hour and a half for the whole process and that was with three people. So uh, E. Dilettante and Putzeroo, thank you again so much for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. And uh, if you'd like to help again, that would be awesome. If other people would like to help, that'd be awesome too. I will post about that. Right, so it's now becoming day, so let's go ahead and check out those places that Patsuru gave me the links to. I don't know how he found them. I mean, I was looking for hours, and I couldn't find anything. And, well, he found them. Exactly what I was looking for. Packed ice. Isn't this beautiful? And look how far away it is. 28,000 blocks. So it's almost three times as far away from spawn as the castle is. But these are blocks that I am thinking of trying to incorporate in some fashion into the, into the uh, wall and uh, packed, packed ice so that you can actually make fences out of it you can um, do a wall and can you do anything with this? you can make an ice mag magus rod consume snowballs in inventory make snowballs colder, interesting Okay, so you can't actually turn it into anything else, so I'll have to think about it, how I would like to use it. Uh, the walls might be kind of cool, because they won't melt, and they're also still slippery. <laughs> um, and I think, is it this, this the one where the little foxes are? I don't know if we have any little foxes around here. Oops, it's, uh, can you center that where I am? Thank you. It's very blue, very blue indeed. Uh, I don't see any little foxes. Maybe this wasn't the one where the foxes were. But I've been kind of wondering if you can name a fox. Um, I know you can't tame them, not like a dog. At least I don't think you can. It'd be cool if you could. But... So once again, thank you very much, Patsuru. I will do things with this. Wahaha. Land on here carefully so I don't fall off. <laughs> oh, look, there's a building that's uh, kind of gotten buried under the ice. Interesting. All right, so the other place that he found, um, which actually isn't that far away, is it? It's really close to this. And this is the different kind of ice which is the hardened ice. It's not slippery, not like packed ice, and it has a completely different look to it. So this is something... That's another option that I could potentially use for the wall or other things. And actually, what have we got here? Quartz stairs. Ah. I find it really cool that the, uh, the rogue dungeons have are made up of different uh, materials depending on where you find them. Sandstone ones in the desert, stone ones most other places, and now the snow ones here. It's pretty cool. So, oh, there's the foxes! Oh, aren't they cute? They're so cute. I wish I could tame them. I don't suppose you like meat, do you? I don't have any on me, but uh, I would like... To, what are you from? Don't stand still. Arctic Fox. The camping mod, too. The camping mod. Okay. Sorry. Don't mean to scare you. I'll have to check the camping mod and see if we can take you home as a pet. 
I don't know what Samifras will say to it, but hopefully because you're not as big as a dog, she won't be too annoyed. Anyway, this is so cool. Uh, let's have a look at the area. Oop, we're in the night's time cycle. Sorry about that. Oh, looks like there's uh, something over there from the a meteorite. So awesome. Plans. Got so many plans. <laughs> All right, let's head home. And <clears throat> actually, I like to go there. Now, was there anything else? Yes, actually, I guess we shouldn't have gone home. Because I met up with Greater Raider um, on the last time I was on the server prior to it having its issues. And, uh, well, this, is, this was the meeting place. And this is in Middle Earth. Oh, well, it was a meeting place. Um... That's right, he had to log out. So this isn't actually the outside. I thought I'd mark the outside. Let me just double check here. Uh, no, I didn't actually mark the outside. I'm sorry about that. I thought I did. So anyway, this is Antumno, which is in Mordor, I believe, if I remember my lore correctly. And it has creatures in it. It has very interesting creatures. And they, they don't like me at all. Nope, they're not that fond of me. <laughs> I guess, did I kill a warg here too? Oh, here comes a warg. Anyway, this is a very rough place to be, by the way. Um, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for my armor. And further down... What is this? Atomo plate location. Okay, that one doesn't matter. Let's... Uh, that's if you want to exit the normal way. You need those plates. We went down. We went to the deepest part. And we killed the, uh, several Balrogs. And I actually have to check up with him on what's going on. Because he got a Balrog soul. So he's able to spawn them and put them in a... Well, mob grinder. Which somehow seems wrong, but <laughs> there you go. I guess there's a special pick you can make from drops from the Balrogs that will let you mine the ice bricks here and down further the the dark dark bricks. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but uh, yeah. Actually the plate location might let me go down there. Let me just go, go there. There. Aha! Uh -huh, that's where we put the stairs. Alright, so I can show you the other layer. So I'm not sure what else this pick is used for. Ups obsidian Utmo Brick. So it's sort of a, a brick red, kind of. And it's also very dark down here. There we go. There's my, nights, my um, night vision kicking in. You pretty much need night vision down here because torches don't have much of an effect. As you can see, they, they don't really work that well at all down here. So, yeah. There's orcs over there, too. But I'll leave the rest of this this place for you to... Oh, my good lord. Okay. Gorgash the Upno Orc. Yes, fresh flesh. No, no, not so much. All right. That was... There's another one. All right. As I was saying, I'll leave this to you guys to explore and, and learn all the interesting things about it, but I just wanted to show you uh, this place because I think it's pretty cool. But there is lots of things to kill here and to get killed by, so you have to be really careful. I think I'll go home now before I get overrun. Now, I think there was some walls that I had worked on as well. Let me see if I can remember which ones they were. Whoops. I have BM walls, which I assume means basement walls. So let's go down there, and I have string. I thought I had already done the basement walls. 
I have no idea what I was talking about. There's no wall wall work done here. I did do the walls on the Thomcraft area. And the roof. I don't remember if I actually talked about those before. If I hadn't, uh, holy stone, it's really cool. Chimes. I seem to remember doing that, so maybe I did already cover those. But, uh, yeah. I think that's it. I think I've got caught up. Whoops caught up on uh, what I had neglected to cover in the end of the day tour because of the hiatus. Right. So this is the the big project. This is what I'm going to be working on for the next while. I've got to get their sort of temporary wall up, not the proper castle wall, even though I've laid it out on this end. Um, I am going to put up a temporary wall here just uh, well, I think I am. i got to place the village first and see how the edges have to be sculpted. We'll see how it goes. They, they might not get a wall just yet. <laughs> uh, but I want them out of my castle. I mean, I know there are evacuees and all, but I hate going in there now because it's just so crowded and noisy. And if I hate going in there, they must absolutely hate living in it. So, yeah, we got to get them out of there as soon as possible. We'll see what we can do. In any case, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour. And I hope I'll see you in the stream. You all take care now. Bye.